Hey Fingsters, in this example we are going to have a look at how we can scrape some data from an online web store. Now as you can see this web store provides us a list of books that we can buy. So let us try and extract the name of the book, the author of the book and then we shall extract the price of each book. So without further delay let us dive into the code. So we need to import the required libraries which would be the requests library and the beautiful soup library. The next step would be to define our user agent. So let's create a variable named headers. So that's the user agent we are using. Now it's time to create the get request. So let's create a variable named response. Now let's use the requests library and the get method. And then we need to feed in the URL of the website. So let's copy the URL. And then we need to pass in our user agent, which would be headers. Okay, now let's create another variable named web page, which stores the contents of the web page or the contents returned by the rep response. So response.content. And now before proceeding further, let us use a print statement to check if the request was properly processed. So response.status code. And now let's try and execute this code. And as you can see, we have the status code 200, which means our request was properly processed. Now it's time to create our beautiful soup object. So I'll name it soup equals beautiful soup. And within it, we will have the arguments web page and then our parser, which would be html.parser. Okay, we are now good to go and define our logic by inspecting the web page and scrape the data that we need. So let us move on to our website. Now let's try and inspect this web page. Okay. And now let's try and find the exact data that we need. So this would be the first data that we need, which is the name of the book or the book title. And then this would be the name of the author and the price of the book. Okay, so let us try and find the parent element so that we can use it to drill down and then extract the contents. So as I move on to li, I see that the area that I need to extract the data from gets highlighted. Now if I move up further, I see that the tag ul with the class primary list is the parent of the tag li. So this is what I was searching for. Now that I know my parent element, things will become easier for me and I'm going to use it to extract the data. So let us move on to the coding window. I'm going to create a for loop so that I can iterate over the ul tag and then drill down into the child tags. So for parent in soup dot find all and I'm searching for the ul tag with the class primary list. Okay, now within the ul tag, I need to access the li element or the li tag. So let us use another for loop. So I would say for n comma tag in enumerate find all li. So I'm using the enumerate function so that I can keep count of each iteration. This should be parent dot find all. Okay. Now we have successfully accessed the li tag. Now within this li tag, if you notice the book title is within the paragraph tag or the p tag. So in order to extract the title of each book, I'll create a list comprehension by the name title and store the name of each book within this list. 
so I would say x for x in tag dot find all and I need to search the paragraph tag and let me inspect the paragraph tag again and as you can see it has the class book title so I'll use this class so class underscore equals book title so I have successfully extracted the title of each book in the web page and now I want to extract the name of the author so I would create another list comprehension and just like I did for the title tag or for the P tag having the book title I'll search for the P tag which has the name of the author and as you can see the P tag which has the name of the author has a class author so let us define our list comprehension x for x in tag dot find all and then let's pass the arguments P and the class would be author cool we have now extracted the name of the authors now we are left with the price so I'll again create another list comprehension by the name price and let us inspect our web page again and let's try and find the tag which holds the price for each book so if I expand this tag and there we go the a tag with the class buy stores the price of each book so this is what I'm going to use x for x in tag dot find all and this time I need the a tag with the class buy and now this will help me to extract the price for each book now we have all the data that we need all we need to do now is print them one by one so I'll use a for loop for item in title and then print book name title dot text dot strip let us try and have a look if we have successfully extracted the title of the books or not oops my bad I have used the wrong variable it should be item dot text dot strip because that's the variable that holds the name of each book now let's execute our code once again and see let's see if it works and there we go we have successfully extracted the name of each book now our next task is to extract the name of each author so to do that I'll again use another for loop for item in author and then print author item dot text dot strip now will this work let's see now as you can see it actually worked but not in the way we wanted it to work so we need only the name of the author as you can see we not only have the name of the author but a lot of other elements which we actually do not need now how do we actually extract only the name of the author so if you see that the name of the author is followed by a new line character so my first task would be to extract only the name of the author and separate the entire text from the new line character so to do that I would create a variable named author and with an I would say item dot text and then use the split function and split the string or the text using the new line character so this would allow me to store the name of the author separately in the list author now let's try and print 
the list author and check if this works uh, we have an error because of the brackets now let's execute our code again and there we go we have successfully extracted or separated the name of the author from the other texts within the list now all we need to do is access this element or the element which stores the name of the author so that would be one two three so that would mean the second index the second index of the author list stores the name of the author now things are quite simple for us now all we need to do is print author and then author add the second index and now this should help us to extract the name of the author so let's have a look and yeah we have finally extracted the name of the author now let's define another loop for item in price in order to print the price of each book print item dot text dot strip and now let's check if this works and yeah it indeed worked now to make things a little more soothing to our eyes let's use a print statement so that we can differentiate between each book with the help of a new line so print and now let's execute our code and there we go we have successfully extracted the data that we need so i hope this example was clear to you now this is how you should approach the problem you should first identify the parent tag as we did in this case and ul was our parent tag then we moved on to the child tag which was li and within li we had the tags p and a with their corresponding classes and from each child tag we extracted the data that we needed and then stored them in their respective list comprehensions and finally we printed each item within the list one by one so that was it for this example i hope you learned something from it see you soon